I'm looking forward to seeing this uh, Madison Square Garden event, I think, that uh, former President Trump is hosting, as if it's sort of a pre-inaugural party. Uh, and, you know, sort of saying, hey, listen, I'm a winner and I'm going to win and let's start partying and celebrating. It's really, I think, a fairly brilliant campaign move because it uh, tells his base, you know, I'm going to win. And then it also helps fuel right. any objections he has to the outcome. So so he's starting to, you know, return to that Andrew Jackson populism. You know, you know, you know very well the Andrew Jackson threw the equivalent of a keg party for his inauguration <laughs> and they trashed the White House yeah. and they had to kick everybody out. Wendy Schiller, how is the vice president campaigning? Is she kissing babies? Well, she's basically trying to pull out all the stops in what will be, you know, an extraordinarily close election. It reminds me of Bush Gore. We really didn't know who was going to win. And it turns out after Election Day, we didn't know who was going to win either. So I think this is where, you know, you're, no stone unturned, no voter left out. Uh, you know, the opposite sort of what Hillary Clinton did in 2016. And I think the Harris campaign is counting on the fact that Donald Trump did not win in 2020. That, in fact, you know, the last time he ran, he did lose. So they're, you know, keeping the faith. Uh, the polls are going in the opposite direction. I don't want to talk about that. But there are hidden things that could change things up. Like in Arizona, there is abortion on the ballot. And, you know, not everybody is always truthful with a pollster when that kind of subject is on the ballot about who they're going to vote for. So, and the same thing is true of Florida, but it looks like Arizona may have a hidden surprise at the end of the day. So that's what I'm looking at, sort of where could we see a surprise outcome in one of these states that it looks like Trump is doing very well in. Wendy, at 11 p.m. on election night, will we know who the new president is? Unless there is just a really big sweep tilt towards Trump, I don't think so. I mean, if Harris is going to win this election, we're not going to know that, partially because mail-in ballots in some states like Pennsylvania are not opened and certified and counted fully until all of the in-person balloting is counted. Uh, so that's going to take us a couple of days, as it did before. We know Georgia is going to be very tight. We're seeing massive early voting in person. The vast majority of, of early voting in North Carolina and Georgia has been in person. So those votes are counted easily. So, you know, it could be that those results come in earlier than they did in 2020. 